Right, welcome to another video. We're at a fishery in Timsbury near the town of Romsey. So, um, I'm going to be using a roach dead bait today on my float rod. I've already put the other rod out and that's, uh, that's on a herring, on a herring tail, quite a big bait. So hopefully I'll get a decent fish. What are you there. injecting it with then? Uh, and the roach I'm going to be injecting with, this is smelt oil. And what I do is I push all that oil in this about three mil or something. So it doesn't sound that much, but it's a decent amount to be honest. Uh, that's all in the roach's stomach cavity. And then I just pierce it. It's got quite tough scales. Sorry. Pierce it a few times. Careful um, not to pierce yourself. <laughs> yeah, you've got to Viewers. be careful not to pierce yourself. Pierce the bait a few times like that. And then the rig I'm using is uh, I've got a Fox dead bait pencil float. Uh, I've got a float stop at the top, then a bead, then the then the pencil float. That's an 18 gram sinker, and then a Fox quick link, so I can very easily, I'll show you, remove my trace, which is a twin treble trace. Mighty convenient. Yeah, the quick links are very simple to use. What well, what you do? Carp topping then. <laughs> Is you you can you don't actually have to open up the clip, which uh, which is an advantage because it means that the fish can't bite open the clip, which can happen with some other designs. Um, you literally just slide on the clip. You can hear a little click. I don't know if you could hear that. And then that's on. And then I've got a twin treble trace here. And on there I'll be mounting my roach. So hopefully that'll get me a fish. Best of luck. Thank you. business end of this rig we got some fox wire kindly um, tied by Oscar um, well yeah crimped and we got this um, running rig system I prefer ledger rigs for pike personally because I believe that line um, in the middle sections of the water perhaps put them off but it's just my little opinion there uh, so things are a bit more pinned down I keep the line tight obviously so I can tell when there's a drop back etc have it on the drop arm indicator yep and um, I've incorporated this running system which is meant to be for barbel but it's really similar to the predator system so you kind of got this buffer bead effect here. This is a core and run rig, running rig kit and you get the swivel included and um, you get a run rig, run ring with a clip and that will run nice and smoothly when a pike picks the bait up because it likes as little resistance as possible because it will drop the bait if there's too much resistance most likely. So can't wait to get it out. Yeah. And what bait have you got on? Uh, I've actually got half a herring on at the moment, but could be chopping and changing all day really. Yeah. We don't know what these pike are We've like. We've got a few baits with us. We've got some roach, some sprats, some smelt. Yeah, got a good cut variety. Cut it a bit unneatly, so the guts are spilling out. Well, I like to do that. I tend to just break them, yeah. and then you get guts and everything, and that's more attractive. Offers more attraction, in my opinion. Yeah, anyway, anyway. let's get it out. Yeah. So Oscar's got onto his first of the day. Do you want me to net it for you? What Tom and I are doing, we're going to walk around the side of the lake because they've cut all the hedges back. We can walk around the side of the lake and basically just put the bait in the ideal spot. Um, right un right into uh, sort of between snags where the pike will likely be hanging out and then we can bring the rod back around and put it on the rests. So we've got 
some nice uh, some nice sticks and stuff which are perfect cover for a pike as you can see just here. So I think this is a likely looking area for a pike. Yeah this looks alright. Just drop it down there I reckon. Let's pull that down. Oh, there we go. I actually incorporated a gripper lead into this system because the bank's quite sloped and flooded so I want it gripping there nice and tightly. Yeah. Anyway, let's get, let's go back to the swim. Let's head back round. Okay, Tom's got a lovely big pike on here. Oh my word, I'm actually lost for words. How big was it? 18 pound eight. God. Is the whole thing in the picture? Yeah, it is. God. This is really fish. chunky fish. It's not that long, but it's just got the girth, hasn't it? Yeah. And some beautiful, beautiful markings on it as well. Basically, what happened was I just dropped it in the margin, walked around the lake, because all the shrubs have been cut down. So it, to get to and get the just, perfect I just positioning. Felt it pulling. Yeah. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. Took it straight away, must have dumped it right on his head. Goodness me, this fish just must have been sitting there all that time. Yeah. Okay, let's get some pictures, I'm lost for words. <laughs> well done, mate. A little quick go in the river with a sprat. The first cast, this little baby pike. Possibly, let's try and keep holding it. Possibly a pound. Grab the sprat and he actually swallowed it the whole way down. It was quite hard to get the hook out, even though I struck instantly. So, yeah, I'll slide him straight back. A bit like those ones we catch down the canal. Yeah, he is, yeah. This is where Henry caught his um, really fat seven pounder last year. There are some there are some big pike in here though, so. Well yeah, done, mate, though. This back Good hit. There. Yeah. which uh, I've already had three of from this river, only up to about two pounds, but still they're great, great sport. Um, and yeah, what a lovely, what a lovely fish. Not really expected, but uh, when I saw the flash of red, I was like, what could that be? Is it a perch? No, it's a rainbow. Thanks for watching another video and sorry for the lack of uploading recently, but to make up for this, here is a session where Henry and I went out to the Thames tributary. Here's some chub footage for you to watch. All right, we've been here all day and it was right in the last like 10 minutes and I just saw my tip wrap around and uh, this three pound, eight ounce chub just tipped it and 
I'm so overwhelmed. It's a beauty. Literally, I'm so happy. It's such a beauty. It's a PB. It's been tipping it down with rain all day long. And Look just... at the mouth on it. Yeah. Oh, and I'm just, I'm literally just too chuffed, I can't even, I can't even It's explain. a fine chub for here, brilliant fish. Small stream chubbing, get out and do it, that's all I've got to say. Yeah, oh, it's so brilliant, it's so brilliant. Anyway, should we get some photos, mate? Yeah, let's do it. 